Hi guys, this is Aya, and today I wanted to do a review for you, so I thought it would be fitting to do a review on the first pattern that I ever made. So, the first pattern I ever made is a straight cut with rounded edges, and it's got four layers of flannel on the inside, and uh, it's got triangle wings. So here it is. Right there. It's cotton topped and cotton backed, and it's got four layers of flannel on the inside, like I said, and it's got a blanket stitch around the edges and um, it's 8 inches long and it is about 2.5 to 3 inches wide when snapped up. Here's what it looks like snapped. This pad is a very good pad for light days I believe. For me that is. It's not as much for penny liners because it is a bit too long for that. This one does not have flared edges it is just a straight cut with rounded edges on the top and the bottom. Um, it's good for light days because it's not got the big flares that kind of are annoying when you're on your light days. Um, but then again, it won't be good for moderates or heavies because of the flareage. Again, if you're into straight cuts, then this would be a wonderful, wonderful pad for moderate flows to light flows. Um, maybe even a few heavy flows for you. Um, but for me, my opinion on it is probably just a light day pad. Um, I made another, a couple more, that are these sty this style. So these, these were the first pads that I ever made. Okay, here's another one. This one is flannel topped and flannel backed. And it's got four layers of flannel on the inside. Again, it's got the triangle wings and the blanket stitch around the edge. And it's the same measurements, 8 inches by 2.5 to 3 inches. So, and this is good for light days for me, so there's that. And then here's another one. This one has 6 layers of flannel on the inside and is the same measurements, 8 inches by 2.5 to 3 inches. It's got the triangle wings and the blanket stitch. This one's my favorite out of all of these of this pattern because it's flannel topped, it's flannel backed, it's got four layers of flannel on the inside, and it has a waterproofing layer. And again, it has the blanket stitch on it, and it is really soft, and it's not... It's actually really stain-resistant color. I think green is, like, the best color that I've found for stain-resistant. Um, this, you cannot even tell that there's blood on it. There's, It just looks like a wet spot. So it's awesome for that. It's got the yellow embroidery floss, which you'd think would stain, but it does not at all. It's got a little discoloration there, if you can see it. But otherwise, it has no staining whatsoever. This one, I don't know how it did, but it kind of faded there for some reason. And this was material that I had left over from a quilt that I made. It was the backing of a quilt. I, it was green flannel backed. And then this one used to be a pillowcase. This one was just a material that I had, and I think it was a pillowcase as well. And then this one was a shirt. So, you can use all kinds of materials and all kinds of things for your material. Um, one of my favorite backings is flannel, because it just doesn't move at all. So I'm going to do another video about that. I'm going to do the backing fabrics and the top fabrics, and hopefully I'll have some different tops and bottoms by then. Um, I'll show you real quick. The next pattern that I will be reviewing is the straight cut 12-inch heavy that I have. And I have a couple of these, and some of them are in my wet bag, so I can't show you them. But these are wonderful and I can't wait to review them for you, but this is the second pattern that I ever made, so be looking forward to that. That will be my next review. So I hope you guys like the video. Um, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you want to see, and I will see you guys next time.